I have uh, news about something that Americans do that Europeans might find off-putting, but they shouldn't. They shouldn't. I, I assure you, it is a good thing. Um, so, Europeans are always telling me, Hey, why is it the hot dog and not having a crust on it? <laughs> Just kidding. All right. They're always saying like... Uh, <laughs> Shit, where'd that come from? <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, uh, they're always saying, like, whenever, whenever I talk to the American, at the end, they always go, yup, at the end, yup, and then, like, uh, when I say a goodbye, they say, yup, and, uh, okay, so that, that's your European there, that's <laughs> what they all sound like. <laughs> Sorry. All right, all right. Uh, <laughs> anyways, it's when Americans go, yup. Yep, at the end of a conversation, like uh, when, you, when you're trying to say goodbye to it. Oh, goodbye, good fellow. Yes, I shall see you all tomorrow. Yes, and uh, tell your family uh, uh, that I, uh, uh, well wishing, uh, inform your children that I, uh, I would like to see them next time. Uh, uh, tell your wife to bring scones. Yeah, see, we don't, uh, we don't like that. <laughs> but some people, inevitably, you're going to get caught in it. I'm sorry, you, you're going to get caught in it. And uh, it, it's called the goodbye spiral. And the goodbye spiral, it could happen to anyone. But in America, we developed a countermeasure, which it might be arguably rude. But it doesn't mean we don't like you. It means we do like your time. We like your time. We like our time. We like it so much that we are going to cut you off. So when you start to get into the goodbye spiral of, oh, yes, you have a wonderful day as well, good sir. Yes, yes, please. And then, uh, yep. Boom. Cuts it right off. So when you hear that from one of us, it is because we are trying as hard as we can to respect your time at the same time as respecting our own time because we care for you. We care for you and we care for everyone, especially their time. I just had somebody do that and, and it could have been considered rude even from my perspective, but then I remembered, oh, this person has shit to do. It's a clerk in a mini mart. You don't just go keeping them in, in, in suspense there. You can't do that to those guys. They got shit to do. If they do that to you, there's a goddamn good reason. All right, so anyway, other cultures could stand to benefit, especially the Japanese and the British and everybody who is at us. They could all stand to benefit from this rule. Just don't treat it as rude. When we do it, admire it. Take it into yourself. Use it on someone else. Maybe you'll get punched in the face if you're back in the homeland, but... Chances are, they'll figure it out too, and everybody will be respecting everybody's time from forever, from from now on until forever. Thank you.